Hi there guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me slash makeup tutorial for this really dark smoky eye as I was going out that night. It's super dramatic and great for a night out and pretty easy to do so let's get started. I'm doing my eyes first because there's a lot of fallout with black eyeshadow which is never a good look so I'm starting off by priming my eyes with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. Then I'm taking the colour Buck from the Naked One palette and blending that into my crease to act as a transition shade. And I'm just going to keep building up the colour until it's the darkness I want. Then I'm taking the shade Blackout from the Naked Two palette which is a matte black colour and packing that all over my eyelid in wiggling motions to help keep it in place and minimise any fallout. Then I'm going to blend the colour up into my crease and get rid of any harsh lines. I find the easiest way to create a black smoky eye is to gradually build up the colour whilst continuously blending it out. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm packing on more black and then going in with my blending brush to blend it all out. And then I'm packing on the colour one last time, but only blending out my crease to keep my eyelid colour nice and dark. Then I'm going in with the shade Foxy on my brow bone to highlight and brighten up my eyes a bit. Now as you can tell I wasn't particularly neat doing my eyeshadow so I'm taking my makeup remover on a cotton tip and carefully wiping away the edges to create a smooth line. This is an alternative to using tape at the beginning which I really didn't feel like doing tonight. Next I'm using my Maybelline gel liner to create a winged eyeliner and if you are terrible at this like me it is super easy to fix with a cotton tip like I'm about to do. And bam, perfect winged eyeliner. Then I'm going to curl my eyelashes and add a few coats of waterproof mascara and once that is dried I'm going to add some false eyelashes. And seriously, who has time to watch me put these babies on? So next I'm filling in my eyebrows with my Sigma Brow Powder Duo, which again would take up the entire video if I showed you, so I'm just going to skip through this step. And if you want a separate eyebrow tutorial later, just let me know in the comments below. And then I'm setting them in place with my Anastasia Brow Gel. Now it's time to move on to the rest of our face. As usual, I'm starting off with my Benefit Professional Primer to make sure my foundation lasts throughout the night. Then I'm going in with my beloved L'Oreal True Match Foundation and buffing that in all over my face. Next, I'm going to do some highlighting with my Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer, so I'm putting it under my eyes, along my cheekbones, down my nose, on my chin, and on the sides of my mouth. Mm -hmm. 
Then I'm blending it all out with my new Sigma F86 brush, which is now my holy grail brush for blending out concealer. You guys seriously have to try it. It is amazing, especially for under your eyes. Why am I shaking everything today? Anyway, next I'm setting the concealer with a translucent powder so it won't darken the highlighting we've just done. I didn't really feel the need to set the rest of my foundation as I find it stays in place pretty well on its own, but if your foundation tends to move, you should probably set the rest of your face, especially if you're like me and tend to do a lot of crazy dancing. So next I'm bronzing up my face and contouring my cheekbones, forehead and jawline with Hoola by Benefit. Then I'm adding a peachy tone blush to the apples on my cheeks with my new Real Techniques brush which I'm also loving because it's so soft and fluffy. Next I'm taking my Mary Luminizer and applying that to my cheekbones to make them look a bit more prominent and then dusting a little bit of that down my forehead, nose and chin to add a bit of a healthy glow to my skin. Then taking my Urban Decay Waterproof Eyeliner I'm going to line my waterline and tightline to make my eyes look extra smoky. Then I'm going to grab blackout again and smudge this along the outer two thirds of my lower lash line and then going over it with buck to act as a transition shade from the black to my skin colour. And then I'm going to apply a few coats of mascara to my bottom lashes. Now all that's left to do is the lips. I'm lining and filling in my lips with a long lasting lip liner to keep my lipstick on for as long as possible. And I'm also using a nude lipstick because I don't really want to spend my night touching up anything too bold, so nude lip colours are perfect for a night out. Then to finish getting ready, I'm just going to take out my hair and quickly straighten it, which you guys probably don't even want to see. So I'm just going to rush through that, and then this is the finished look. I hope you all are having an amazing day, and please remember to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. And I will see you guys next week. Bye guys!